Hey guys, it's Barry playing uh, four tables of $100 no limit at Bodog Poker. Um, so, I've been running this session for about two or hours now, maybe even three. And, um, yeah, it's just been, uh, it's been an okay session. Uh, earlier we had a table like full of sharks, which kind of sucked, but was really fun too. Uh, Should have turned on the recorder. Like, pure regulars, all good regulars too. But uh, they left, which makes this uh, more obviously a lot more profitable situation. So if we look around here, um, we've got this guy who's okay. Uh, he's a little tight, but again, we'll just be uh, watching out because he likely has good hands. This guy is a total fish, but he's been running really well, uh, which is really good because um, now he has some money and we're more likely to take it. And um, we had a couple okay players a second here. Hello, lovely is pretty good. Um, and this guy is not bad too. So we just have this new uh, at this table. So we might actually be looking to uh, to find a new table up here, depending on who joins. And uh, who else we got? So we got a lot of fish here. Like all three of these guys are fish. Uh, I don't know this guy too much yet, but he seems just kind of like tight passive. And then this guy's pretty good. So here with our seven, we'll be going in for a raise. And I'll definitely call him. Knowing that I got more fish at the table, so like this, so he hasn't come over. Um, obviously not a good flop. We do have a heart, but could totally be drawing dead on the hearts. So we'll be giving up. So this guy is folding 54%, which makes it close, but this is a pretty safe board to bet out at. I am going to raise here. It's kind of close considering these guys are kind of callers, but I will be in position to them. But I mean, this guy just doesn't like to fold very often. So, I don't know. We'll see. Wow, he actually folded. So, worked out that time. It was a kind of close, kind of a close spot. It seems like an obvious raise, but this is a a non-standard game with a lot of calling going on. Um, here I'm going to bump it up and try to just actually... Hmm. I don't think this guy will allow us to just limp in here, but maybe I'll go for a 3-bet if he raises. I'll definitely call that. So we're no good here, but whatever. This guy's figured that would happen, so we're going to 3-bet him here. And we're going to 3-bet nice and big. have to show. We just repped so strong pre-flop. Uh, we gotta figure this guy has to think we have aces or kings. I mean, in this spot, you know, because I know that this guy's good, he's never going to allow us to just limp, like, one guy to limp in and then us to limp the small blind. Like, no matter what, he's not going to let that happen. Um, and 
and you know against the limper obviously it's weak to just limp in so uh, by him just calling we now have quite a bit of dead money because he's kind of raising any two uh, against limpers so it's definitely a good spot to three bet and uh, try to get the dead money um, isolated I, I certainly wasn't expecting this guy to call which uh, kind of made me think he had pockets but again like we just repped so strong that even if he had something like pocket sevens I think he could fold it Stack and he calls everything. And he's like epic newbie. And now my computer decides to be loud, so my apologies. Here we've got Ace King. This guy appears to be a big noob. Uh, so obviously we're raising here. He'll probably call. If we hit our ace or our king, we're just gonna kinda bet small and try to get value. Here, I mean, this guy is relatively unknown. We just know he's bad. Um, so he might call us with kinda anything in this one. We don't know if he'll bet. We have showdown value if he's got nothing. Uh, and obviously there we just hit the nuts so I mean I don't think he's hit anything here but I mean maybe he hit the queen and he might call five dollars if he hit a queen or even if he has like a seven he might call that but if he had nothing I mean it's kind of pointless to just check there. You gotta try to get some value with the nuts, obviously. So I'm. Hmm. I was almost gonna limp in again here, but obviously now I have to raise. Um, and I think I'll raise it to the same amount I did last time to kind of make it look like, you know, lies. Yeah, this guy just calls a lot, so I think I can get value out of a queen, to be honest. Right here. And I can't believe all these guys are calling. And we got mad calls. But, um, pretty much can't be scared of anything. So, uh, a really, really good player right here, clearly. And now this guy just goes all in. Uh, again, he's probably a newbie. He's coming to a $100 no-limit table with, like, 30 bucks, whatever. So, I could be good here, but not even going to obviously just risk it. Even though, I think there's a good chance we're good. He could have something so stupid, like just queen seven suited. So again, we know this guy's good. He's never going to limp. He's either going to fold or raise. So if he raised there, we're going to be uh, three betting. And now I'm three bet by uh, Hello Lovely. and He's in position. So I don't really want to set mine here in a three bet pot out of position. Uh, it's kind of close in position. I actually had a discussion with another guy earlier on that. But I think if you're in position, sometimes you can call if you know that you can get the player to fold like in, in my situation, I had a guy who was uh, basically his fold, his fold on the flop percentage was like 80%, and he three bet, and I was in position uh, with like pocket threes. And um, I called because I thought that there's a good chance I could 